Hello SS fam, welcome back to another vlogmas. Hello, Hello SS fam. How are you to Is your favorite girl in the building? Sarah, how are you all doing? Today's video is gonna be a quick one. This is not the video I'm supposed to upload today, but a sister just reached out to me who is really in need of this video. So guys, in the comment section, all I need you guys to do is wish her safe delivery. We pray for her that she will be healed and healthy with her baby. She will return from the hospital home with her baby all of you should pray for her in the, in the comment section we're actually expecting a december baby and she has requested that i teach her how to take care of oblinka cord so what that means is how to take care of belly button uh navel so or uh, whatever name everybody call it so, so she want to know how to take care of uh, oblique cord. I am not gonna be making this video based on my nurse experience or anything. I'm gonna be making this video based on what I did for my kids that work for them, all my four kids. Let's get right into the video. So, first thing first is, whenever I give birth to my children, you know that oblique cord is what connects you and your baby during pregnancy. That is where you supply nutrients to your baby during pregnancy so once you put to bed they clip the cord and cut it off so that separates mother and baby so once the, it is cut they always tell you in the hospital you are advised not to touch not to force and not to pour water in it you should keep it dry that is the best way to take care of it keep it dry don't make it moist or uh, put anything to moisturize the area mm -mm. That is the best advice they will give to you But what I normally do once I get to the house some people don't give their kids shower until the uh, Cord is completely out, but I don't do that. I give my kids shower straight away So that is what I do. It has worked for me for all my children It's basically what my mom my grandma my aunties my uncles I have seen them do it whenever I would return from hospital from my place. We give our babies but we bet them so we don't wait till three days or a week or till the cards fall off before we, we start giving them a bath so once we return from hospital i give my baby a bath if you have not watched my traditional way of how to bait a baby i'm going to link that video in the description box so you will see the traditional way of how to bait a baby what i do after pressing the baby's head and pressing the baby's body i go gently because that place is kind of sore i go with the warm water that i used to press the baby's body i squeeze the whole water out of it completely you heard me the 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 flannel whatever rag or towel mini towel whatever you call it it must not be wet it must not be wet when you're going to use it to massage the baby's oblique cord so what you should do is squeeze the whole water out of it once you are done the the towel will just be warm is what the baby need in that area is warmness not wetness or anything the cord has not fallen off so you have to just place it like so you are not doing anything you're not stretching the baby you're not pouring water you just place it you know when anybody have injury the process of wound healing you kind of feel irritation or inch in that area it might be inchy and all that for the baby that is the reason why you don't have to pull water or anything just press the whole hot water out of it be sure you you test it on your forehead on or, uh, or at the back of your hand and be sure that the towel is not too hot then you place it for the baby damp dry damp dry damp dry during the time the the cord is still attached to the baby so once that is the way i normally give them bath when when the cord is still there once i am done with the baiting wash their body normally every other place when you want to rinse the baby you kind of turn them and rinse them completely once you are done rinsing with the baby and once you bathe the baby and water has literally getting there do not panic do not worry all you need is this you need a cutty board like this get one like this get one out for your baby then this is alcohol 
in Nigeria we call it spirit. Here is alcohol, so it's the same thing as spirit. Spirit is not something that retain in the body. It's not like a moisturizer or anything. Look, once you put like that in the spirit, you squeeze out the excess. See, like this. See, you squeeze every excess. All the excess one in it, you squeeze it out. You see, now that it's all out, it's completely dry. You go like this. Let's assume this is the navel, like this. This middle of my palm. You go, you, do, you, do you know the cord is long like this? And there is water now in the hole. You just dump, like this. Dump round gently and clean it all. It's sore. The baby might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but that's the best way to keep it clean. When you do this, infection will not be able to get in yes once you neglect it each time you allow water to enter or oh, that is the reason why you have phobia for baiting your child you might end up not baiting your baby but eventually when the cord eventually fall what you do is continue the process bait your baby normally once you are done use hot water now that the cord is now out once you are done baiting your baby get hot water the African way is the way I always do my things. You massage it. The cord is no longer there. Now you you know how to take care of sore in Nigeria. You you massage it. You don't press it too much with pressure because the hole is still there. If you go and start overdoing it, you go to hurt the baby. You massage it, massage it. But once you see that the hole, or, or, or after massaging it and giving the baby a bath, there is any water. All you need is this. Put the spirit like I showed you. Press out the excess. Each time you finish, like me, each time I finish betting the baby, that's what I do. I just press it out, then I clean. Once the cord is out, when you are, once you are done betting the baby, you clean. Sometimes before the cord eventually fall off, you will see that there will still be a hole at the middle. So whenever you, you, you bet your baby, boil hot water, treat them. Before you place uh, a hot, hot towel on your child's body, you must test it on your head. That is why when I was baiting my baby, you, you guys will always see me placing the towel on my head. I'm checking if the, if the towel is too hot for my baby's skin. You can check it at the back of your hand. So if it's still hot, you don't place it on your baby's body. But if it is nice enough in your body, it's good enough for you to use on your baby's body. So you go ahead, you clean the navel each time you are done baiting the baby. And as the cord is making progress to fall, you will see that it starts shifting shifting you'll be seeing space sometimes you might see th that space already looking as if it has mucus accumulation there all you need is this get a cutting board put spirit like this squeeze everything out once you sp squeeze it out like this it's just alcohol it has disappeared it vanished so just use it to clean it keep it clean and keep it dry this will help you keep it clean and this will help you keep it dry with that your baby will not have any infection and that being said if eventually the cord finally drop all you need to do is keep baiting the baby once you are done boil hot water massage the area a little bit for the baby once the uh, once the process of wound healing is finally completed and you don't longer see hole no more, it's now well and it's all covered, boom! That is when our native treatment comes in. You boil water now, you test it on your body the way I just said, then you go about like this. You massage it, let's say this is the navel now, this is the navel at the middle, then you go like this, you kind of like open it and massage it, massage it the Nigerian way. So you massage it, you massage, 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 massage. Then, and whenever your baby is having the, maybe uncomfortable, you see your baby crying, maybe there is a gas accumulation in the tummy and all that. Um, all you need to give to them is a uh, grab water. And here they have different type of grab water. They call it colic. So you can buy any colic or any grab water and give to your baby. You ask your doctor, you do it according to your doctor's prescription. I, uh, whatever I shared here is based on me, what I did for my children that work for them, not based on because I am a nurse, no. It's because of what I have done that have worked for my kids is what I just shared for you. It's and um, once again, I wish you safe delivery and I use you to pray for every pregnant woman out there. I wish you all safe delivery. We will see our 2020 December baby or 2021 
babies i use this opportunity to pray for everyone also looking for fruit of the womb i bless you today with miracle children miracle baby the lord will honor you with babies there will be lots of cry cries cries babies cry in your house not one miracle children i bless you with miracle babies miracle children before the year runs out in jesus name say delivery to all my pregnant ladies bye ss fam i love you all peace i'm out